wealth. Versi Locke is author of Make It Rain, Increase Your Wealth and Financial Security. Thanks so much for coming and for being here. Thank you for having me. So it's kind of that time of year when people do start thinking about, okay, we're going to start a new year here in a minute. Uh, how do I handle my money? What do I do about my taxes? But you're saying there's a basic conversation that we really need to begin with our youth, and, and it's all in how we think about money. What are some of the, yes. the principles and premises out there that people are dealing with? Yeah, you bet. So you, people talk about being healthy, wealthy, and wise. Yeah. And we talk about health a lot, you know, screenings and all kinds of things like that. We talk about stay away from drugs with our youth and with the middle, uh, kids in college. But we don't talk about you get your job, what do you do with your money? And how should you use your money to actually be able to prepare yourself, not just while you're working, but after you choose to retire. And so some of the strategies I talk about is one simple method. It's mm -hmm. called SIP. Take a little sip of the money you make, save, invest, and then pay your bills. So take a little mm -hmm. sip and spread it across those three areas so that you have money working for you the sooner, as soon as you start that first job. So tell us about this rags to riches story and, and, and how we got to this SIP principle, which yes. you've lived and, and born out through your life. Yes, indeed. So I grew up actually not in Kansas City, Dayton, Ohio, is where I was born and raised. And my parents were, uh, uh, we lived in West Dayton, a very poor area of the mm -hmm. country. Uh, my parents made maximum $10,000 a year, a family of six kids. And so we did things like dumpster dive, I call it. We would go, and before recycling was cool, we had to go and get, get stuff from cardboard, cans, glass, and then we'd go out behind grocery stores. Now they give food to pantries before they would put it in a nice clean bin and we'd pick that up. So those are things we did when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. And so I had to figure a way, I said, you know what, this is a, we, we did what we had to do to survive, but I didn't want to live like that the rest of my life. And so I started to work and I started to learn about investing on my own, like most people have to do. And over the last 35 years with the help of my wife, Lisa Lark, We've been able to uh, work our way up to a point where we are pretty wealthy, and now we decided to take our opportunity to share our experiences with others. And that's why I wrote the book, Make It Rain. And Make It Rain, is it a practical guide? If people read this, what can they expect? Yes, indeed. It was written, and my wife was great with this. She said, you know, it's got to be simple mm. because finance is boring. Yeah. And so we made it very simple, and the idea is you read the book, and as you're going through the book, you actually take activities along the way. And then when you get to the end of the book, we include what we call life lessons. You know, most people have, need to buy a car, their car breaks down. They, need to, they want to have a baby, they want to get married, they want to buy a house. And so in those instances, we put in the back of the book, I call them the secrets, to actually do those in a way that doesn't make you house poor or cause you to get off track if you want to actually build your wealth and prepare for a very secure and stable retirement. So one of the things you do is you go around and you talk to different groups. You're yes. really trying to target youth to get them out of the mindset of make money, spend it. Yes. And and so on the blog, I guess if people want to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Yes, indeed. I have a blog. The blog is uh, www.versilark.com. If you go there, you can find me or you can find me on Facebook at you, the letter U, make it rain. And so you can find me in either way. And once you get to the blog, there's a contact page and just email me through that contact page and I respond pretty quick. I'm always on there sharing information with people and that's where I put a lot of tips and tricks that aren't in the book to keep people uh, learning more things that I could not include in the book as my wife said we need to keep it short and sweet so a lot well, of thanks for learned. coming and sharing and all of those tips are available as well as if you'd like a copy of make it rain you can check out his blog as well thanks for coming thank you for having me and Appreciate we'll be right back all right